Growers are always interested in efficiency of uh, products and materials. Phosphorus fertilizer is no different. We're living at a, at a time when the fertilizer material is extremely expensive. Anything we could do to, to improve the efficiency of these fertilizer products, the more valuable they become. We also know that phosphorus utilization from the first year of phosphorus fertilizer application is very poor. Uh, sometimes you're only getting back 5% uh, of the total amount of phosphorus that, that you're applying. Uh, this is because of the tie-up or precipitation of, of phosphorus by a cation such as calcium, magnesium in the west, or aluminum and iron in areas of, of the Midwest or other parts of the, of the world. Those cations tie up the phosphorus, making it relatively unavailable. The Avail technology is very unique in its ability to overcome those precipitates that are being formed, to keep a zone of, of phosphorus availability in that uh, microenvironment, which utilizes the, the amount of phosphorus that, um, that you're applying uh, more completely than, uh, than we've ever known in the past. On the experiments that we've conducted, and I have to say that we've conducted and looked at probably between 100 to 200 uh, uh, replicated field trials with avail. One thing that is quite remarkable, in the early growing conditions of spring when the soils are wet, uh, the plant vigor is, uh, is pretty low. Wet, cold soils, it reduces the uh, availability of phosphorus even more. One thing that we notice quite rapidly or quite uh, uh, quite obviously, is the level of increased plant vigor associated where a veil has been applied to our phosphorus. And this is not only in dry applications, but also as liquid fertilizer starter programs. We've, we've seen uh, obvious increases in, in a plant development, growth, and early stimulation. And we relate it right back to, the, to phosphorus availability associated with the Avail technology. We're continually uh, investigating uh, through research trials with the universities or other third-party groups in regards to, to that very thing, phosphorus use efficiency. We've got marvelous responses looking at increased levels of, of both soil test phosphorus concentrations uh, where we've applied the Avail compared to the grower standard practice. We've also measured response, uh, increased levels of phosphorus within the tissue uh, that would amount to 25 to 35% more phosphorus getting into the plant where a veil has been applied. Um, this past growing season and repeated in 2007, uh, we actually looked at a potato crop where University of Wisconsin researchers um, looked at, at soil test phosphorus measurements throughout the growing season. Their responses were unique in that they, made, that they were able to measure available phosphorus throughout most of the growing season uh, where, a, where the avail was applied. Uh, and they also indicated that, that the, although the phosphorus was increased within a, within a one inch radius um, from where it was applied, there was no additional movement beyond that, beyond that radius. So, uh, and so compared to the grower standard practice, the avail provided much more soil phosphorus level, as well as measurements in, in plant uptake. And then the increases in yield have been remarkable in the last five to six years that we've, that we've been looking at the, the product. Yeah, Nutrisphere N has been developed to have an enhanced uh, nitrogen availability within a cropping system. The Nutrisphere N is applied either to a dry urea product or to a, to a solution of urea ammonium nitrate applied easy, either as 28% or 32%. We haven't had as much experience with the, with the Nutrisphere N as we have with the Avail, but it's been remarkable as far as the, the productivity increases, the changes that have occurred in our research trials as well as our, in our farmers' fields to a point that we are feeling more and more comfortable about making the Nutrisphere N recommendations across, across many fields. A very nice response we've had this past year was looking at winter wheat. This particular trial was done um, 
with uh, Dr. Grant Jackson with Montana State University, where he, where he looked at both Nutrisphere in on winter wheat, as well as the performance of Avail, uh, where the products were applied either alone or in combination, there was a significant yield increase that resulted in a remarkable, uh, a, a remarkable profitability back to the grower on those, those particular fields. Most of the concerns with nitrogen across all cropping systems is the loss of nitrogen, whether it's to volatilization or the loss of, of ammonia into the atmosphere, or a change of nit uh, uh, called nitrate leaching associated with nitrification. The Nutrisphere Ends mode of action addresses both of these issues. We are looking at and receiving very good indications that uh, nitrification has been inhibited with the use of, of Nutrisphere N to a point that this is exhibited in to increase yield and quality across many, many geographic areas. Nutrisphere in on a potato crop has been very, very interesting as far as its development. Uh, many of these growers are applying nitrogen during the, during the season of growth, these in-season applications of N. Uh, what we're hoping to accomplish with Nutrisphere N is to decrease some of those in-season applications of N. And we've been quite successful. On the same year course of ground, uh, we've got to manage the nitrogen more completely or in a better way but on, on many soils, we could get by with only one or two, in, uh, one or two applications of, of nitrogen uh, in season on some of these potato crops.